Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. I'm Ian Gibson and this is The Sandbox. This is our weekly stream series where we play survival crafting multiplayer games like Minecraft, Terraria, I'm drawing a blank here. Maybe our special guest Will Crosby can give me another example. No, sorry. That's the, uh, you know, like Pee Wee's Playhouse where you're not, you're supposed to say the magic word or whatever it is. If you say Ark Survival, it means we end the Sandbox series. So thanks for watching, folks. Um, we'll catch you next time on a different stream. Bye. Oh, I just realized I didn't even unmute you. Hi, Will. Wow. You know, the thing is, I, the good news is I said Ark Survival. Yeah, so, so the joke made sense. The joke barely made sense. Good enough for our standards. But you know what else we play? Sky Factory 4. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I, I'm excited. I, I haven't had time to play Minecraft. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this is a good time, literally a good time to play Minecraft. So you streamed last Thursday. How did that stream go in terms of showing off the progress? It went okay. Um, I think we were mainly working on getting the hard drive up and running. I thought it already was up and running. We just didn't, uh, it, you needed to expand it? Yeah, fully up and running. Oh. We need to add a couple other stoif to it. Okay, okay, I'm in. So I spawned in front of this big board. What is this saying? This is saying how many 64 stacks you have of the object? Yeah, so I think this is like filing cabinets. So you can put stuff in and take stuff out. Or you can come over to the computer, click on that, grab wait, wait, stuff. Wait, 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 wait. So real quick, so how does this work? So this is filing cabinet, got it. How do I take stuff? Okay, I guess I just, yep, okay. I like that. <gasps> you just broke it. I like that. That's fancy. That's pretty cool. Very fancy. Okay, I know the pooter where you can request items because I was shoving stuff in here. Some yeah, stuff boy. I got from the nether. Got a bunch of black some... iron now. Wow, you, okay, all right, yeah, I need a tour. Desperately need a tour. Okay, so um, the so forge, I know the forge. here has been done by Zach, who is not okay. here this week because my parents are visiting him. Okay, we have a forging hammer. What do you do to make this? Um, what does this get you? This uh, this is so you can forge hammer stuff down. But like, what would you, so you want make to plates. forge hammer? Oh, okay, and then plates, like plates for of armor. Metal. Yeah. Over here, we've got some fluid storage tanks, some fluid. Zach's been doing fluid stuff. I'm about to start doing open that computer stuff. does not sound right. Uh, Zach Zach's loves been, fluids. Zach's been doing fluid stuff. He loves fluids. Okay, so what do you get with these fluids? Uh, this is all like, like there's stuff like fluid redstone, fluid blah, blah, blah. But what does that get um, you? It's just so you can easily do... There's a lot of recipes that call for a fluid version of something. And you can just sort of make it. There's a cow in a jar over here. This is probably a good time that. to say that I have never played modded Minecraft. So yeah. all so this if stuff you just, is uh, If you want to find out more about that, Ian, uh, easily in your uh, inventory, you can search some fluids, see what recipes go in the okay, fluids. Okay, let me just search fluids. Got it. Okay, yep, there's the result. Got you. Uh, you didn't do anything. Uh, are you sure? Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, I like this. I like this tower of storage. Um, now, don't bother wow. me. I'm trying to make a raw circuit board here. Okay, this is our trees. Ooh, so, oh, so now they're dumping into a filing cabinet. There's a filing cabinet, then link back. Where does the so what's the difference between a filing cabinet and a chest? Uh, filing cabinets can hold things, I think, indefinitely. What? What? Oh, I didn't see these. What do you mean indefinitely? No, think they can just keep holding things? Like they have no limit? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. If you, if you hover over it, it says 77, 65, 86. I'm assuming those are stacks. It? You just right-click it, you dingus. Oh, do you need an empty hand? There we go. 
Okay, yeah, so when you hover oh, over Oh, I it... took a folder out. Oh, no. Oh, no. How'd you do that? Oh, I put it back. I'm um, not going to touch okay. this stuff. Zach's not here to explain it. So Listen, I'm we've trying got to make all a computer. that. I'm going to go down. Do we still have the downstairs area where it syncs up with... Oh, I... Mm, okay, not sure if I can get downstairs. Yada, yada. We have a magma slime sapling. Oh, boy. Hi, Blue Waters. Um, thanks for joining. Yeah, this is very new to me as well. So this is Sky Factory 4. I think uh, we'll, I, I think the best way to describe it, and I'll give you a shot as well, is that it's all sorts of really good, crazy Minecraft mods. But then the thing that kind of ties it all together is that you start the map on a tree that's sitting on a single block of dirt in the middle of the sky. And that's all you have to start with. Um, and you have to carefully yeah. like mine that and then use the modded accessories to like turn the sapling into dirt and all this other stuff. Um, is that how you would describe it, Will? Yeah, exactly. You you start from nothing and you eventually get everything. Yeah. So, so we have all this crazy stuff. So I'll show off the uh, filing system real quick. So these are filing cabinets. You can click to retrieve a stack of an item. And you're going through a lot back. of effort here. I'm just, I, I'm like all half explaining it to myself. And then there's like this search system. I do like this search system. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's really uh, great. Okay, I need to make green dye. I'm going to go to the, uh, well, actually, I need some food real quick. I wish you could search by category. You know what I mean? And just be like food. Oh, uh, um, no, you, know you can only search by, uh, um mod oh you can search by mod yeah you do an at and then start typing the mod name oh no wait it says search for tooltip search for or dict so if i do like this coal oh and then it shows me all the... actually it doesn't work and then i do at cacti i don't think we do dynamics green dye right now some fancy stuff right there i'm gonna go uh check out what's going on in the nether have you guys done much down there uh again have not played since last week okay did not watch last week so have you guys done anything down there uh no sorry last week we didn't do anything either i thought that was i should have explained that better i apologize um okay, so we need we to build something that auto smelt stuff because doing this manually so uh, doing this for you stream Okay, I'm gonna hit these goobers. Oops. I dumped the wrong gonna one. Gonna get out. risque. Oh, that was probably a really bad idea. I just oh, did. We there. just have swords. This doesn't oh, seem that bad. So stupid. Nobody can see my stupidity. Got him. Green dye water. Okay. So we didn't set an end goal for this. We set a start goal, which is that we're playing Sky Factory 4. But for this particular series, for this season of the Sandbox series, i.e. playing Sky Factory 4, what's our end goal? Our end goal is to beat Minecraft, obviously, Ian. I mean, with like the dragon and stuff? Yeah. Have you ever done that? Uh, I actually haven't in all my years of Minecraft. Yeah, I haven't either. Uh, what is the nether? Um, how would you describe the nether? It's hell. Blue Waters, I really hope you're messing with me, because if you are, I love it. Uh, Will, what's your sponsor for tonight? Uh, water. Mmm. I'm, um, I'm double fisting it. In one hand, I've got La Croix apricot, because Aldi was out of the cheap stuff, and, uh, water. Going hard this evening. I actually had um, some rum uh, before I left work. So that's about I'll it. Put that, I'll put that rum in my belly. Is there a reason why... I know you don't know this, but you said it's 64 blocks is the range for these chests? Yeah, it's 64 blocks, and if you build a remote controller, you can do it from infinite blocks. Oh, like you do remote to remote? Uh, no, it's just you hold it and you can access every chest in the network. <gasps> or you can There's access the computer. Trash. Okay. Because I'm yeah, thinking about 
adding another level to this storage tower. Just to give me something to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, real quick, I gotta I make fine farm real quick. Do we have a drying station? I think Zach puts the ones. I thought there was one. Oh no, it's where the uh, the smaller forge is. No, there there's was a... one there. Oh, we have so a truffle. We got chickens. Yeah, we got some eggs are... going on here. Metallurgic got... infuser. Ch chicken seeds growth. Yeah, I really mature. wish Zach was here to explain things. There's a lot going uh, on in here. So, Blue Waters, where are you from? What are you tuning in for? He's probably tuning in for uh, Mario Maker. Our oh, latest true. hit. Big hit. I believe, if YouTube is to be believed, oh, so stupid. we had Sorry, about very 35 once. views on YouTube the other day, which is phenomenal. Uh, we'll be streaming that again on Tuesday. Sorry, not Tuesday. Careful, well, careful, yes. careful. Do you want me to fall down there? What do you want me to do? I hate Can we go down? You. Can we go down? Uh, so we're going to be streaming Mario Maker on Tuesday, but we're also going to have a special uh, Sunday stream. Very excited. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to build another level of this here. Uh, um, uh, this here uh, Are they full? Storage tower. They're not full. I just want to build something, you know? Okay, go for it. Uh -huh. Why don't you build out, um, finish building out the farm area? Get some more grass going. So, yeah, I think you're right. So, I just need dirt blocks for that, right? Wow, we got five dirt uh, blocks. Zach, if you watch this. Uh, when you log in and you say, where's all the metal that was in the thing? The, the you metal just watch mine. Well, actually, thing. you won't know. But you know why I was mad. Okay, dirt seeds come from dirt and inferium. Okay, yep, didn't need that. Okay, what's dirt amber? Oh, we should make an inferium farm. Don't know what that is. Oh. It's like magic growing. Blue waters. Wow. Your wills. Are you Karen? Is your name Karen? <laughs> Damn it. Karen, I wanted to keep it going a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, I couldn't tell if you knew or not, Ian. I, I recognize the name. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I want to fuck with Ian now. <laughs> oh. You mean thank. You want to thank with Ian. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I, I cursed on stream. Yeah, you did, I Goober. I genuinely apologize, everybody. Thank you. I apologize again. I genuinely apologize, everybody. Um. Okay, all right. So here's here's my question for you. Okay, so when I'm crafting and I have a recipe, I think I know about shift, click the plus button to max out what you yeah. can. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But Just you should sure. do that. Also, if you do it in the computer, you can do that as well. <gasps> I didn't even notice there was a little crafting grid in there. That's a smart pooter. Okay, we Ooh, really need to get these filing cabinets hooked up to the search system or something like that because. So it, it, it auto pulls from the filing cabinets into the search system. Really? So I just pulled all the dirt saplings we have? There really I mean the dirt stuff there really wasn't a lot. Uh I don't know if I it might be I think I you're right. It. Because I only have eight and eight left. Well maybe. Yeah, I Oops. I don't think it makes we make that much. Ugh. TBH to be honest. TBH? Okay, well then I need to if I'm gonna super expand the farm selection. Well, I don't know. There's got to be like I noticed that a lot of the stuff in these mods are about space saving. So I feel like there's got to be some space saving stuff with the farm. What do you think? Yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff like uh, cloches, cloches. You can build. They're like things that and this is more for inferior farms, but they like auto grow. So I'd look up some farming stuff. Um, oh wait, why can't I just put them in a bonsai pot? This stuff, I don't, uh, I guess you could. I like actually having a farm, so. I mean, I hear you, but I also don't, so. Uh, is I my mic need... turned on? No, I can't hear you right now. Are you there? Hello? If you're talking, I still can't hear you. 
Did you Hello? hit the, uh, there's like a red button on the Yeti. Did you accidentally hit that? Hello? Hello? I don't know where he went, folks. Let's hope he gets his audio fixed. You're literally the worst person. <laughs> <laughs> How far did you go? How far did I get you? None you at all. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, wait. So you're saying if I place a filing cabinet anywhere, it will automatically pull in? No. Not okay. at all. So then I, but there's all these storage link cables, so I should just put. Yeah, if you put one on those, it will pull. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Did you find where the dirt trees are? I did, and I took all the stuff, but there's just not, there's not a lot going on over there. You know what I mean? I oh, took I'm all the sorry. stuff, and it gave me 19 bricks of uh, dirt. So I'm just going to auto, oops, I'm just going to auto hop some stuff real quick. Well, there's a bunch of dirt amber in here. Is that the stuff you made? No, but what do you do with dirt amber? I think I looked it up and it was, let me check it out. Dirt amber. Dirt. No, Put I'm looking at the, uh, yeah, but dirt. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I see it. And dirt amber gets me a cable oh, maybe facade. Not. Yeah, it's weird. I wish there was a bit more consistency in this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But think about it. This is putting together like a hundred different mods. So it's surprising it even works out sometimes. Hi, ZG Blanket. Thanks for joining, buddy. Um, Hi, we're playing Blanket. some Sky Factory and we're getting. Well, I'm getting very confused. I just mean like, like, okay, so the, the iron amber is what you then melt to get molten iron, right? Yeah. So I wish it was kind of like that with the dirt in a way. Not that you necessarily melt it, but where it's like amber is just one step away from the item for all amber. You know what I mean? Right. Nope. I mean, okay. essentially, you can get liquid dirt by melting dirt. Y yeah, that's what I'm saying. It should always be, if you take a blank amber, it is one step away from blank. Right, it is. Iron what amber about, is one step away from liquid iron. But what about dirt amber? Dirt amber is one step away from liquid dirt. It is, because I don't see... Oh, no... No, I don't. What's the recipe yeah. for that? Smelter gets me. Oh, you're yeah. right. See, it confuses me the tabs at the top. I kind of oh, wish it so just had it all. So the top are different items, and then the side are different types of that same item that do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, I don't know. It's this is difficult. This game hard. Yeah, this it's game tough. turned hard. <laughs> we yeah. turned hard, Marta. Yeah, blankets. I know. I know. Not all recipes have amber. We were just talking about like if unique items like blank amber were all treated the same and it turns out that what i wanted is already in the game so great job so i joined uh like an official destiny 2 server Ew. or, uh, Ew. or Ew. clan today i joined like, one. did i tell you the one that I joined? No, you tell your story first, and then I'll tell you the one that I joined. Well, I was just going to say, you know when you're, like, playing a game and they always have, like, those advertisements for, like, join the the elite gamer clan. We're going to we're gonna have events Ooh. every week and, like, all that we stuff. So it's, like, Mountain Dew. it's like the shrouded clan server. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I did it is because finding randoms to do raids within Destiny 2 is really annoying. Yeah. Hey, I Justin, have, thanks for joining. I, uh, I'm glad you went back and watched us play your level. We're gonna have more coming soon, I promise. If you wanna submit another level, we'll add it to the list. Anyway, sorry. No, Go no, ahead no and worries. continue. Um, so I I only have two fr other friends who play Destiny with me, so it's tough to get three other people. So that's the one mm -hmm. reason I did it. And the other reason is when you only have a clan with your friends, it's hard to do all the clan stuff within, like they don't scale it for how many people are in a clan. So yeah. it's hard to do everything in the season. So now that I'm in a clan with 90 other people who regularly play, like they're already at the the top level. I've got all like the Engrams I can get weekly. 
Hey, what do you nice think is more more sense? important? Real quick, lettuce, beetroot, or wheat? Wheat. Wheat. Okay. I mean, to oh, put wheat. on the hopper. Wheat. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um. Yeah. No, I I absolutely see your point because I so when I started Destiny two, I joined. I decided to join a clan. I tried to join the Giant Bomb clan. It was full. And then I was just like looking through. I think at that time the only way to really find it was the destiny 2 forum and they just had a space that was just like clans looking for people and one of them was called bears and people who love them and i thought it was a <laughs> i was like furry clan great <laughs> because i thought that would be hilarious uh so i joined them and i was having fun and then three days later i was like i'm in a bear clan oh wait this is about the homosexual stereotype bears and nice. not furries <laughs> Hi, Zoe Guacamole. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Such a some, classic Ian. <laughs> playing some Sky Fat. Oh, no. I don't think this is working. Uh, oh, it, Zach has all this plastic in here. I don't know. I'm just going to take it out. So, I guess, can you not? So, I have dirt here. I can't plant seeds. But I can't. Do I have to do fertile soil? You're at fertile oh, soil. Man. Let's see. Let's see. That's a thing, right? We have some. Bonsai. Oh, man. Blanket. Oh, thanks for being a buzzkill, but apparently bonsai is for trees only. Dang it. Gosh darn dang a langer. I'm going to look at this. I'm gonna, isn't there a so food? So the best thing to do is, like... Isn't there a food page on the we achievements? We look at wheat... Here we go. Press iridescent altar. Okay, that's scary. This is. This oh, so you're inside me right now? Oh, am I? Yeah, it's just. It's getting a little yeah. crowded. You know, maybe I'll just upgrade uh, all these. Um... Oh, you guys already did. You did yellow mulch. Is that the max? Cactus green. Can I make excuse me more? Can I make green? Can I make oh, amber annoying human being? Did you all get a look at that video I sent on Twitter on how to play the Mario Maker level? So I did. Um, I think yeah. we figured out towards the end of my run that we had to speed run it. Um, it was just too late because we were already five minutes in. But that was that was tough because it, it's the one he's talking about the section where there were swamps, but then there were vertical walls of red blue blocks between them. So you had to speed run it and hit the switch perfectly as you're jumping, but then also time, time it with the thwomps. So basically you're running through, miss the thwomp, jump to hit the switch and then go through the wall and then jump Jeez. to hit the switch, go through the wall. Yeah. So I think, I think at least I remember figuring it out, but at that point I kind of was just giving it up and letting the clock run out because I'm bad at Mario. It's, it's hard. True. Ian's bad at Mario. Okay, I'm going to try to make Amber Mulch. I feel like I need to just find either very straightforward things to do in this game or biofuel. We don't have any biofuel, do we? Probably not. Bye. Oh, shoot. Do we have Bio. any bombs? F infinity drill. Infinity drill. <laughs> oh, the what? best was uh, we had an old server where we built a mining co uh, drill. So it was just on tracks. It laid tracks in front of itself and drilled at the we same time. We have a crusher? It's pretty cool. Do we have a crusher uh, yet? We might... I think it's over there by the fluid stuff. Because I think latex processing unit. Dear Lord, there's a lot going on over here. It's like the we haven't expanded the base size and we haven't put down more stuff necessarily. There's just a lot more insanity going on right now. Yeah. They should have included a mod. I just, I can't, I can't play crafting games anymore after having played Factorio because of the nested one-click crafting. You know what I mean? Where if you need to 
craft an object and you but you have to craft prerequisites for it but you have all the resources you need to craft both the prerequisites and the object itself oh yeah you can just click it and let it let it do it for you so i'll give you an example so if it was in minecraft and you wanted all you had was wood and cobblestone like logs and cobblestone and you wanted to craft a um, an axe you would just click to craft the axe and it would automatically craft the wood into sticks and then immediately craft the sticks and the cobblestone into an axe for you yeah it's like it's fantastic like factorio style yeah i love it so much and that's that's the mod i really need in all crafting games now hey uh speaking of games that just ain't doing it for me uh you remember they are billions yes what about it um sorry i'm just I'm trying to remember biofuel Man, you, you really got lost there i know biofuel comes from a cr crusher um so it hit 1.0 recently and i was looking it up and i uh, i've been playing it tell me what you thought of that game when it came out what? um I thought it was okay i played it a little bit uh for a previous company we worked for but that's about it oh uh GameSpot. GameSpot, yes game spot um, we worked for game spot yeah, so I've been playing it. It's it's still like the same game with the same shortcomings. It feels like an RTS from a decade ago. That's really disappointing. I just yeah, I think I, I'm I constantly striving for mechanical and like like mechanical improvements in genre games. And if your game is not introducing enough improved mechanics, it's not cutting it for me gotcha okay sorry i think i cut Excuse you off me. what were you gonna say no i i don't remember you know i'm making a computer making some circuit boards over here uh, i'm gonna have a computer up and running soon gotta make <gasps> a keyboard okay so i'm just gonna go back to the island well no maybe i will expand the garden area a little bit I feel like there yeah. should be a, an in-game wiki included with this mod. Um, I think... Uh, isn't there the wiki book? Oh, I found the drying rack. There's a lot I of... Found the, I found the drying rack. Linking book, enchanted book. Weren't you looking for a drying rack? Yeah, I put those there. I don't think you're special. Yeah, so I'll give you an example about They Are Billions. So uh, you can set your units to patrol... Mm -hmm. But in order to place the waypoints for patrol, you put them where you put the units where you want them to start patrolling. And then you click on you right click to put the first waypoint and you hold down shift to put down other waypoints. And they they go to the next waypoint, to the last waypoint, then back to the previous waypoint, and then back to their starting point. But once the waypoints are down, you cannot click the waypoints and drag them around. You cannot add an additional waypoint. You have to wipe the path completely. Really? And it's, yeah, it's like that is like traditional RTS mechanics. But like I said, that's that's 10 plus years old. Like I... I want to be able to click a waypoint and move it around. I want to be able to click add a waypoint. You know, I don't want to have to redo my map, my patrol map, every time I want to make a change to it. Right. Um, yes, Justin, we do stream on Twitch as well. We use Restream, which is really cool. It's a free technology that basically lets us stream simultaneously to YouTube and Twitch. It's very useful. Um, crap, I was going to say something. really don't remember what it was. Just gonna, just gonna oh, I, I like that the computer, you can just dump stuff into it. Yes, I love that. It's real good. Um, yeah, so there's Oops. another thing about They Are Billions that is annoying. What is it? Oh, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh. So they have a really cool command. This is actually cool for, I don't think this is necessarily new, but it works really well for this game, which is essentially like a an RTS, but your enemy is zombies that are static on the map and every now and then a horde of zombies comes towards you. 
And if they hit your villagers, they will convert them into zombies. So you can kind of get this fast plague spread mechanic if they get into your town. Um, they have a chase command. Oh. And so the chase command is you just tell a unit, you say, hey, chase. And it literally just runs around the map, not necessarily scouting. It's just running around trying to find an enemy, like a static zombie in the map. And if it finds it, then it kills it and it moves on to the next one. I like um, that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Except for, as far as I can tell, you cannot get units to group together chase. So, like, if I have three units and I've just made them and they're all standing next to each other, I can't, if I select all of them and I say chase they will run off each using their own ai which sometimes keeps them together but other times they'll split apart randomly and it's like no okay. no no. i want i want you to chase as a unit of as five units together so that way i know you're strong enough you won't get killed by like a small horde of zombies if you run into them but no it's it's just telling five individual units to chase uh, the one caveat is I haven't tried it yet where I select those five units and I make them into like a, you know, like a shortcut group, like control five mm -hmm. and then tell them to chase. But I have a sneaking suspicion that won't matter either. It's 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 like, OK, well, now the chase command is useless because even if I have 50 units and I tell them all to chase, there's no guarantee they won't split off one by one and get themselves killed. Right. It's, it's like. When it was early access, I could excuse that, but this is the 1.0 release, and it's just... Not nope. good. Nope. I, I don't want to say it's not good. It's just that it's good in the most mediocre way possible. They just Got built it. a functioning RTS, but they didn't really do anything interesting or exciting with it, and that's upsetting. Um, You know what is interesting and exciting? Minecraft? Uh, No, that's boring. Uh, EDF... Five came out today on PC. <sighs> yes, I can't wait to play it. I think in the future we will have to play that first stream. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to... Karen and I have been playing EDF 2017, which we need to finish. I bought 2025 for my Xbox to keep playing. Mm -hmm. And now I, I'm trying to decide if I want to buy five now. But I guess I'll just... In case it gets cheaper, I'll wait until we buy it <gasps> to stream. <laughs> Yeah, because that's the thing is I, I want to ride this. I think we've got a really good thing going with uh, Super Mario Maker. I think we do too. And I kind of just want to ride that. I don't want to say forever, but I think we ride that into the ground. Yes. Agreed. We could always put, after this, we could always put Sandbox on the on the back burner a little bit and switch over to some EDF. That's true. I mean, uh, oops. Yeah. Gotta find Whatever we want to do. Yeah, so that's why I'm just like, I think we're a little bit of a ways away from playing it anyways. That's what's prevented me from buying it outright. Ooh, we could make a series where we just... Well, no, there's probably like 100 missions, aren't there? I think there are exactly 100 missions. Oh, no, we don't have a dirt sapling? Wait, so these filing cabinets are not connected. Oh, no, wait, there it is. There, yeah, there's a bunch. No, it's just I type in dirt and I see the dirt sapling in the computer. But if I hit the space bar, it disappears. Yeah. That's I'm, that's I'm assuming, gonna happen. Yeah, I'm assuming that's just like a. Okay, I need to build program limitation. A new. Uh, you know, I feel kind of bad about crapping on uh, they are billions so much. Tell me about an RTS that you love. RTS that I love. Um, who boy? I don't know. I don't. I I played a lot of uh, Age of Empires one as a kid, uh, and I really liked that game. I think it was Age of Empires one, whatever the Roman one was. Oh well, that's not well. Yeah, Age of Empires one had Rome stuff. There's guns uh, in here. I need a gun. Oh, we used to make rail guns. There's Anyways, um, Age of Empires 1's real good. Uh, so I played a bit of StarCraft 2 when that came out. I really enjoyed that. 
Uh, other than that, I, I don't play a lot of RTSs. I never played like Red Alert or anything like that. I'd say my favorite, I don't know if this counts, but it's the same view as an RTS. I played so much Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Uh, let's go back to. Um, so, my. I remember Age of Empires 1. I downloaded the demo with my father, ooh. and we played it so much. We just thought it was crazy crazy that you could have villager units and then you would like send them against an elephant or i guess it was like a mammoth or whatever and it would just kill them <laughs> we, we just like were just blown away by like the rts mechanic it was insane and then eventually we bought it we like we, we loved it so much that we just played the demo for like two or three years until wow. age of empires one we found it one day for like 20 bucks at sam's club and then we bought it and actually played it so That's a lot crazy. of like good memories with my father yeah yeah um what else did uh, yeah we had a lot of games as that like that as a kid is like you have the demo for it mm -hmm. and you're like no this demo is fine like oh fusion frenzy my brothers and i we played a lot of that demo because uh -huh. i had like i want to say like 30 of them were unlocked of the like uh games you could play together so you basically just played those and then you just never paid for the full game. Oh yeah, 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 I see it. I know what you mean. Uh, um, yeah, demo discs used to be real great. Did you ever play World in Conflict? No. You should play that game. It, it still holds up. It was, oh, when did that come out? I wanna say like, no, I graduated high school in 2008. So it must have been like 2003, 2004. It's, you know, the movie Red Dawn? Yes. So it's basically Red Dawn, like the USSR, but you're not playing as a high school kid. It's Soviet Russia. It's the 80s. Soviet Russia launches a surprise attack on the United States through the port of Seattle. And then you're just oh. like american units going around it's a lot of like small scale warfare like you're going around um fighting the russians the multiplayer is fantastic because you have to choose whether you are it's 4v4 and you have to choose whether you're infantry armor helicopter or i think supply so, uh, artillery and depending on which one you pick like if you pick the infantry guys you can only spawn infantry units and and like maybe a hum maybe a single humvee mm -hmm. and um you have a like you have like an anti-tank infantry unit and a sniper infantry unit but you don't have a whole lot of range you know what i mean and you have like a set budget of like let's say six thousand points that you can have on the field at any point in time so you're like trying to spawn your infantry units to like take over buildings and occupy them around the control point but then Jeez. like an like an enemy tank shows up and you're just like pinging the enemy tank and hoping that your teammate who picked the armor commander because he's the only one that can spawn tanks sees that and will bring his tanks in to help you out like it's literally the concept of combined warfare like combined arms warfare as a multiplayer rts and it's fantastic and then the whole time you're earning command points based on like doing good things like killing units or occupying points right and you can spend the command units on like artillery strikes so you could call in tanks so even if you're the infantry guy you could spend enough points to call in an airdrop of a tank and then if you had like 75 points which was the most you could call in a mini nuke which would just wipe what? out like half the map and it would Jeez. just come in they would be like nuclear missile inbound and it would launch it would do a big mushroom cloud and a burst of white light there would be radiation crackling like your screen would flicker man, i love a good nuke launch in a game i man you should play world in conflict it's fantastic and i think they s still keep the servers up or maybe the fans keep the servers up like it's an incredible rts with the best rts multiplayer i've ever seen because it wasn't about like turtling you couldn't turtle you had to be dynamic uh had destructive buildings and destructive bridges you had to yeah. just constantly keep on the move, constantly work with your teammates. Fantastic. I was going to really, say, really uh, uh, playing like old games, we usually don't pick stuff like an RTS or something because we always pick point and click adventures or adventure games because they always have story stuff. And mm -hmm. it's always the story stuff 
is where it gets rough. Hey, what's, a games. what's a Cletho? What's a what now? Oh, uh, the monsters are like, it's like a, they're like different streamers and YouTubers and stuff. Oh, so I should kill it. Got it. Yeah, they're just named after. That's why like one of them was literally Mega Man and he killed me. Oh, I got a creeper in the in the farm, but I think I got him. Oh, we need to light that oh, place up some more. Creeper in the bathroom. Spooky scary. Spooky There's a scary. Oh, scary. okay. So the the resource hog does something with truffles, right? Yeah. He eats truffles, and then that's the item that gets spat out. Is that right? I I, I really have no clue. I think I looked this up one time because I was following recipes and then one of the recipes was like, all you need is truffles. That's all you need to make this. And I was like, okay, how do I make truffles? And they're like, well, you got to find a resource hog. It's a pig that uh, gives you resources when you uh, feed it uh, truffles or something. And then it, uh, uh, it spits out exactly what you want, but it depends on the type of resource hog. And I was like, nope, never mind. Nope, I'm out. This is too hard for it's me. Analyzer. It's, it's analyzer. I knew you were going to say that. I also don't like when chests get stuck open. Yeah, that's literally the worst thing ever. Okay, what what do you need from me? Do you need me to feed the forge with iron amber? You can do whatever you want. Uh, see, uh, what I like to do in Sky Factory is to find a mod and then just do stuff with that. <sighs> Got it. So I'm going to make iron amber. I think the difficulty I have is... Oh, stop it is um i don't know how to do a majority of it and then that just means that i don't have a clear direction this yeah, is like it's all about learning this is like overload for me okay iron resin okay so i need a bunch of iron resin iron acorn boop i got an analyzer okay. now you're an analyzer Iron, amber. Not enough energy. Okay. Oh, see that didn't. It's shift click, right? But that doesn't oh, work gonna... inside the computer. Do, does that not work inside the computer? The shift click of the plus. It next does. To the it's once you take the first one, it then populates all the other ones. So like pull one from the recipe and then there'll be a bunch after it. That didn't work. So you shift click. Okay, I shift pull clicked. it into the computer. Okay. And then shift and then shift click on the thing and it'll make a bunch of them. It didn't. Do you have, are there enough? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm on the recipe. I shift click the plus. Yep. Okay. Now I shift click the result. Yeah. Or you can just pull one of the result out and then it'll repopulate how many you have in the other thing. It did not. What are you, can what are you, you trying to make? Um, I'll throw some in there. It's uh, iron amber. So there's going to oh, be because it can't be in your inventory. It has to be in the computer. Oh, I mean, that's handy. Wish there's I knew also that 392 iron amber in there. Oh, it's because I keep hitting space. That's why I keep doing iron space, but that nulls the search. Okay. Got it. Thanks. Bye. You can leave now. Okay. See, uh, Okay, now I'm gonna come over here. Well, we need some lava. Okay, let me go get some lava. Oh no, did he move the lava bath? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where it is. Oh, there's a pooter over here. You can just put, yeah, that's my computer. Well, now I feel like I should build a, a lava generator. You just had a lava pit, right? 
Um, yeah. <sighs> so if you okay. grab a cobblestone crucible and put a torch under it, put the yeah, no, crucible I, I on know top. that. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I'm just wondering if there's a better way to make a lava generator other than just a pool of lava that you pull from and it auto fills. Oh, I uh, I think there's a lava generator. Ooh, okay. Well, let me look it up. Let me look it up. Man, I really just I would devour a wiki for this stuff, but I mean, there's plenty of wikis. I couldn't even find proper wikis. Yeah, just it, basically you just search the mod. Yeah, I think that's what was. I think I figured that out and I searched one and I couldn't find it, so then I just gave up. Place it over lava to melt items. Lava fabricator. Plastic, obsidian, machine case, magma cream, blaze rod, and a... Okay, I'm just gonna make a lava pool. Gonna do it. Where's my cobblestone? I already got a bunch of cobblestone. This is a very exciting stream. Yeah. We're very exciting people here at subpixel at subpixel at subpixel what do you think the minimum size for this lava pool is three by three 18 by 20 i mean like minimum viable probably three by three right hey you've been uh no spoilers you've been watching that there uh stranger things I have not. I'm finishing the second season of Dark first, and then I'll be watching Stranger Things. Yeah, uh, like, you haven't watched any uh, Stranger Things at all? I've watched the first two seasons. What did you think of the uh, first two seasons? I thought the first season was really good. I thought the second season was just okay. Yep, right there with you. Um, do I need to make this two layers deep, or can I just do one layer? I feel like it's got to be two layers, right? Uh, just make sure there's no wood near it. Well, yeah, but I just want to make it so that if you scoop a bucket, it auto refills itself. Yeah, it's four by four or two by two for that. Okay, definitely two by two. Gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and make it three by three since I built it up. Um, I, have you watched Dark? No, I, I really would like to because I've heard it's just a better European uh stranger things i mean not really it's more about adults but um there are some kids in it i mean it's, well, it's well, yeah but i mean in terms of like the weird mystery horror thriller type thing yeah it's my, not pulpy at all that's fine stranger things is really starting to get on my nerves with all the pulpy stuff yeah um Whoops, whoops, whoops. Generator, whoops. what is this? There we go. Um, yeah, I just I was just curious because it's it's big right now, all them people talking about it. I'm just not really enjoying it that much, you know. Yeah, a lot of people enjoy a lot of things. You know what I well, say to them, Ian? They're not allowed to. I say, Nobody asked me about it. Go die. Go die. Okay. Okay, um okay let's see what i didn't even come over here what is this just a little oh it's a mob farmer mod farm you're a mod farmer mob farm. Here, piggy mob farm you're a mod farmer what am i getting coal i Do you have any coal Maggie uh, finished the Scottish show and has no idea what to do with her life now. So yeah, maybe she just, you know, move on. Should I tell you, she rewatched about half of the episodes. She rewatched. Yeah, she went back and rewatched. Oh. Yeah, and when I say rewatched, I mean she had just watched them about seven days prior. I gotta build a CPU. You're a CPU. I hope the mic caught that fart. I feel like Thursdays oh, are gonna I'm turn into our, like, cozy, unprofessional streams. 
Yeah, I love it. And then Tuesdays for, for Mario Maker is just like best behavior. You know what I mean? Saw, dude. Yeah, just begging for them. Begging for them clicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing so fanking hard? Begging for them clip. <laughs> no, I said clicks. <laughs> no, no, did you think I said something else? I did not say that. <laughs> I just did that thing again where I looked down to make sure you're not muted. <laughs> and I think about how much better the stream would be if you were. <laughs> Clips. Clicks. <laughs> clicks. Mm. Click, click, boom. Oh, it's raining. Oh, Speaking of raining, rain, it is pouring on my way to work. On my way home from work today, it was. It pouring. rained so hard at the end of the workday today that we lost power. Jeez. Uh, and then, but but then nobody wanted to go home because it was raining so hard that nobody wanted to drive in it. Oh no! Uh, that's the worst. Okay, I think I made a line, a, a generator. Line? So I just like hung out for an extra 15 minutes and then driving home took me twice as long because there was like traffic on the highway. So then I took the back roads and then several of the back roads had literally four to six inches of standing water on them. And so it was Jeez. just like, not just even sitting long, water. No, just, just standing water. It was like, was there an ovation? Yes, actually, that's exactly what happened. Um, you prefer you prefer your iron in blocks, right? I feel like that's just easier. Uh, yeah, it's probably the easiest. Doesn't really matter though. Now I gotta put some RAM in my computer. What's going on here? I can't. Oh my! There we go. Oh my gosh. What? My favorite thing about this is I'll search for something uh -huh. and then it'll say something else and I'll read a word and I'll be like, they can't honestly mean that's in this game. No. And then I read it and then it's real. So I am no longer making a computer. I am making oh, yeah. a shotgun, a plasma shotgun. I am making an airship. There's no way. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to get a magma block though, so that's what I need to do. Airship frame logic chips. Oh, here we go. Will has a renewed purpose in life. I don't know how to scoop lava without it being mad at me. Oh, it works. Okay, I'm good. Let's make twelve of those. Oh boy. Um, so let's talk about our upcoming stream schedule. Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern is going to be uh, today. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> You've been here. You're welcome. Um, to Sunday, this isn't an official new Scream schedule or anything like that. That's right, our Scream schedule. Um, we're going to be playing some Mario Maker at uh 2 p.m just feel like it that's the last time i will be playing mario maker on stream for the foreseeable future because next tuesday will's gonna take the controller and that's the tables me. are gonna turn and we all get to see that he's just as bad as me at mario it's not um, yep and to prove it to prove it the very first thing you're gonna do is play the level that i created Oh, oh no. no. What goober put a bunch of molten gold in the bottom of these? Uh, oh, where? Oh, just pull it out. You can't really pull it out, right? Though you just got to destroy it. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't do that. Put just put some more gold amber in there. Oh, yeah, cuz I'm assuming we've got gold amber. Yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, pull it out. This is the one time I get to chide somebody in this game cuz I have no idea what's going on. Y'all got to watch your you got to watch your pores. Otherwise, you're going to end up taking up a bunch of them cauldron casting basins with the uh, stuff. There we go. Look at this, I'm casting. Yeah, so that will be uh, Sunday, 2 p.m. Super Mario Maker 2. 
Eastern, Eastern time, of course. Tuesday, 10 p.m., Super Mario Maker 2, Eastern time, of course, with Will playing. First thing he's going to do, play my level. Then he's going to play all your submitted levels, assuming we have some rollover from Sunday. The levels that we missed on Tuesday, we're going to be playing on Sunday, first things first. I think, we have, I think we've got, what, maybe five or six in there? Probably. Probably. Sorry, I'm very focused on trying to get this done before the stream ends. Well, I'm very focused on making fun of you. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let me know if you need me for anything. I, uh... Four blocks worth. Got it. One... Two, okay, what do I got left? Two blocks of molten gold left. One, two, got it, okay, and then this becomes that, that becomes that. This is kind of fun just being the smelter. You know? You're a smelty guy. You're hey, how do you make seared bricks? No, I think I figured that out. Never mind. Last time I played, which was about two weeks ago, because I've been busy and traveling and stuff, I remember that I was like trying to make another casting basin, but then I couldn't, and part of the recipe just confused me because I was like I was like, how did Will make these? How did he do it? I just simply can't figure it out. I don't know what that seared. was. Seared. Yeah, you made a seared casting. Isn't that what it's that? Isn't that what it's called? Yeah, they're seared bricks. Oh no, I, I know that. Rope. Look up casting basin from seared brick. Got it. Two, three. Okay. Got it. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. That's crap. It told me I had enough left to do the gold. Like it said two blocks, so I poured two blocks and it didn't finish out the two blocks. Oh, I know why. Never mind. That was my mistake. Okay. Did that. I did finish. I out of gold. I'm out of gold. Perfect. Oh, that's what it is. How do I make one of these? Okay. Weet, 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 weet. Oh, Ian, we're so close. I want to start automating stuff, but I don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? <gasps> Why won't this work? Um, casting basin. Oh, we're out of bricks. Faucet. Faucet seared brick. How do I make a seared brick? Seared brick is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This is where it is. This is where it is. Oh, no. It's just. Gr okay. How do you make. How did you make a seared brick? How did I make a seared brick? Yeah, because I'm looking at these recipes and it's truffle or grout. Yeah, you're going to make grout. Ugh. Okay, grout is clay. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, let me do this then. Oh, dang it. Do we not have any feathers? Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm no, I really this. don't. No, kill some chickens. Can I? Oh, and then I have to melt the grout. Okay. Got it. I think we need a bigger. No, I like, need feathers. We need a bigger solid melter. Does that make sense? 
like a furnace. We need a bigger actual furnace. Uh, yeah, so you can add more to the top of the furnace? No, I mean, but not to melt into liquid, like to make seared bricks. Yeah, the furnace is next to the smeltery. Oh, Where are you? that's right. I'm sorry. I forget that I figured that out last time. That's price. my bad. That's my bad. I already do no, that. That's fine. I, I just wasn't. Okay, here we go. But it needs me to top her off with lava. We're getting there. We're making progress. So let's just go until you make the airship. Thank you. I think I'm almost done. You take your time. I'm kind of... Slowly getting into the swing of things. God. I hate the fluid dynamics in this game so much. Screw it. Okay. I do like that you can just have a bucket of lava and just right click a furnace or whatever oh wait and it just auto pours it in there i love that okay oh no, this guy gets so close to telling me the answer okay and then i come over here and my seared bricks should be done. They're not done yet. They're getting there. I'm so close to getting okay, this right. There, 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 there. Okay. Making a lot of progress here, folks. Lots and lots of progress. Oh boy, you, you've been uh, thinking about doing any of those uh, analysis slash short feature pieces that Jake has been doing a lot of lately? Uh, a little bit. I'm I'm not. I have to find something that I really want to want to mm. do. I hear ya. I don't know. I had uh, I was like thinking of stuff, and then I just like three good ideas popped in my head, and I put them in our behind the scenes stuff to like. The super secret stuff. Um, yeah, super secret stuff. And I'm feeling pretty good about them. I'm so and close. I think I'm going to do some, maybe a while. There's also a, a written piece that I have that I basically created to have as my writing portfolio for applying to game positions. I think I only used it once or twice, but it's it's an okay, it's a little bit of an ego piece. Well, no, it's just that it, the tone in it comes off as snooty, but I think I can turn it into an analysis piece. It's basically about, here, I'll just tell you what it's about. Um, so, do you know the game, oh boy, what's it called? Um, Quadrilateral Cowboy? Yes. So, sorry, I'm just doing counting over here. So there's a scene in that game in which you walk into a garage and the game wants you to change the oil filter in the airship that you just stole. And it took me like 20, 25 minutes to do that. Because at first of all, I was so confused what it wanted me to do. And then I was like struggling with the physics and I was like, okay, well, I don't know what the correct order is to change this oil filter. And then by the time it was over, there were two realizations. One was like two epiphany moments. One was there was an instruction manual on the workbench the entire time that I could have just consulted. Why doesn't this faucet work? <gasps> oh, Ian. What? Where are you? You ready? Wait, 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 real quick. So basically the whole piece is about how I know how to change oil on a vehicle in real life. Mm -hmm. I've done it dozens and dozens of times. But when I was faced with the exact same task in a virtual world, in a video game, 
I didn't know how to do it, even though the correct answer was exactly the same. And it's about how like how did how player knowledge that transfer between real world knowledge and player knowledge and how sometimes even if they're exactly the same pieces of knowledge, there's yeah. still an obstacle because you're not expecting it to be the same. Um, right. It's like when I play a game and like you're dying of hunger, I know how to eat in real life. I don't know how to eat in this game. Exactly. Yeah. But this was kind of a special circumstance because it's kind of like, it's like how in Minecraft to make an ax, you take sticks and you put rocks on it and that becomes an ax and like you're drawing the actual shape which is very similar to the real world which is you take you take a stick and you attach a rock to it oh that's true so it's like it's like one of those instances in which the instructions are actually identical but there are still obstacles and some of them are mechanical but there's also a mental component too in which you you expect them to be different so that would that's what the piece would be about okay sorry anyways you want to see this airship? Yeah, let's do it. Oh! Oh, thanks, buddy. It says no fuel. Yeah, I gotta put fuel in it. It's so cute, though. Can you can you make fuel? Uh, I don't know how to make fuel. I look at the book. Yeah, yeah. Because I, man, I'm willing to stay up a little bit longer if we can get this really Blue root, rooting, tooting around, you know what I mean? Uh, we're going to make pellets. Theoseline pellets. It's, oh, uh, let me, no, no, let me go check. Do, 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 I'm kind do. of upset that you have to, you can't just put a faucet, you have to get a smeltery drain block. Oh, I made way too many of those. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Oh, whoops. How do I... Still Did says just... no fuel. Did you just get in with me? Where do you see no fuel? At the top. Top of your screen. Oh, yeah. Um, let me consult the book again. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a two-seater. <gasps> we can use this in the nether to just find the fortress to get us to the end fuel integration fuel timer okay probably should check that oh whoa this is a menu full fuel <gasps> i'm ready wait let me get to my Oh yeah, third person. Oh no, no, no. What does that bottom bar mean? What bottom bar? At the top. Oh, until it refuel refills. Look how cool oh, this okay. is. Yeah, but you know what I mean? We should use this in the nether to just skip mobs yeah. and find the fortress. I love this. This is like a uh, counter strike. <gasps> uh Do you think I can get back in? No. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, how do I get down? <laughs> uh, I think it's control, but don't hit shift like I did. Uh-oh, it's not control. Uh, maybe spacebar? No, spacebar is sends. Uh, maybe Z, X, C. You know, let me consult oh, the book. it's X. It's X. I got it. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'll see you later. No! My precious boy. How do you break it down? I'm assuming it breaks down, right? Yeah, it must. If not, it really wasn't that much. Huh. It's, I'm going to take some bacon to eat. Will, you didn't see that. It's got a timer on it. Let's see what happens when the timer breaks down. What timer? It has like an anti-idol. So above the label above it, airship, it had a little like countdown timer below it. Thanks. Oh no, give it back. Here you go. My baby. My baby boy. Actually, you know what? We should put that in the computer. Oops. All right, Will. Let's Ian, go. Ian, it's been lovely. Oh, oh no, let's go pose for a picture over here. This has been, uh, 
yet another subpixel live stream thanks for joining us real quick the spiel for all zero of you listening um we're subpixel we do short documentaries about games and the people who make them we also do short features like i was talking about analysis pieces we also do scan lines which is where will and i play some really weird old games that time forgot um, we also do Tuesday streams and Thursday streams. Like I said, uh, next Sunday, Tuesday is going to be Super Mario Maker 2, and next Thursday is going to be more of Minecraft Sky Factory 4. You can find us on uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Subpixel Team. We like to tweet about stuff we're doing, tweet about live streams, tease new projects, stuff like that. And you can find us on YouTube under the Subpixel or Subpixel Team easiest way to get there though is subpixelfilms.com that redirects directly to our youtube page where you can subscribe hit the little notification bell like comment follow do all that you can also find us on twitch at twitch.tv slash subpixel or maybe subpixel team i think it's subpixel team um that's where you can watch our streams um i think that's mostly it um will where can people find you you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. And you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. And I like to close it out this way. I'm stealing it from Easy Allies. We've done it a couple times now. Will, if you could recommend just one other piece of subpixel content other than this very stream, what would you recommend? I would recommend Jake's Horizon Zero Dawn world building and analysis video. It's a hit. We've gotten a lot of genuine honestly 100 percent genuine comments from people we don't know saying that it's very good video and uh i think that's why we do this right is to get positive reinforcement from people to feel like we've touched to feel like we've informed others i love positive reinforcement i love it too well that's gonna do it for us folks we will see you on sunday at 2 p.m eastern for more super mario maker 2 bye-bye bye-bye